In this video, we're going to look at the theory of refraction. Refraction is when light travels from one medium into another medium. This actually applies to any kind of wave. Uh, so the wave travels from one medium through an interface uh, into another medium. So let's take a look at this. Everything happens at the interface itself. So here we draw an interface where we have one material on one side and another material on the other side. And the materials themselves uh, have a different density on this here. So let's say we have some red light. So the red light traverses in, like so, hitting the surface. And some of it gets reflected off of the surface. So, and some of it gets transmitted into the material itself. The beam that comes in is called the incident beam. And then we have the reflected beam. And the transmitted beam is called a refracted beam. So how the light actually bends at the interface into the material is governed by something called Snell's Law. Snell's Law is n sine of theta is equal to n sine of theta, where we're looking at one side versus the other side. So let's call one side 1, the other side 2. So this is n1 sine of theta 1 is equal to n2 sine of theta 2. Now in this equation, the angles here uh, refer to the incident and refracted beam. All angles in optics are always measured to the surface normal or perpendicular to the surface or 90 degrees to the surface. So let me put in here a normal to the surface. And the incident beam in 1 would have an angle theta 1 as such. This would be the same angle as the reflected beam. They are equal. I'm just going to put a prime there, indicating it's measured in a different way. That's all. So it has the incident beam at angle theta 1, and the refracted uh, beam is at theta 2 yeah, on this. The n here is called an index of refraction. It refers to how fast light is traveling in the material. So as light travels in different materials, it can actually slow down. Light travels the fastest in vacuum. This is referred to as the phase velocity. So we have the speed of light in vacuum. And we look at it in other materials, and it slows down. So we'll take this ratio of the speed of light in vacuum divided by speed of light in a material. And this is now given as the index of refraction, n. Values of index of refraction are typically between 1 and 2. Uh, so water, for instance, has an index of refraction of 1.3. Uh, glass, there's various types of glass, and index of refraction is like 1.5, 1.6. So light doesn't slow down a lot. Uh, it slows down enough that it actually can be measured on this here. Um, the more dense the material is, the slower light travels. Some of the most densest materials can actually have an index larger than 2. For instance, diamond has an index of refraction of about 2.4 on this here. So we have index refraction as a characteristic of a material, and we can use Snell's law then uh, with refraction to determine this characteristic. So let's take Snell's law and just solve it for the index refraction of the second material. So I have n2 is equal to, now it's n1 sine of theta 1 divided by sine of theta 2. We can reduce this a little bit experimentally if we actually go from air to the material. So in, in the one case, let's use air. And the air density is, is very light, and so light does not slow down very much at all with air. It's very close to vacuum. In fact, the index of refraction of air is equal to 1.00029 on this here. So for all experimental issues, you can probably just use a value of 1. And that reduces this equation down uh, into a form of sine of theta 1 over sine of theta 2 for using air 
as the uh, material one in one. So in review of this here, uh, what we're looking at is waves which go from one medium to another medium and they slow down uh, based on the density of the medium if it's uh, using uh, light. It follows the equation called Snell's Law and very often uh, one is seeking a value for the index of refraction and it reduces somewhat if uh, one is going from air into a material. In some of the next videos, we'll actually look at examples and demonstrations of refraction into materials.